With the economy the way it is today, everyone's looking for a leg up. My Credit Kings can help you do that. We offer a free consultation and one month free credit repair. All you gotta do is click the link below at mycreditking.com. In a significant admission, Meta CEO Mark Zuckerberg revealed on Monday that the Biden administration pressured Facebook to censor content. Mark Zuckerberg admits to everything we always thought. How did he do that? He wrote a letter to Jim Jordan admitting that the Biden administration actually asked him specifically to remove certain content from his platform, especially when it came to responses, especially around the, uh, you know, the jibbity jib jib thing. Every time that mentioned by meme or any other satire and sometimes alternative ideas, he was told specifically by Biden administration officials to make sure it never made it forward. In some cases to delete it altogether. And in some cases, accounts were removed if they put too much of it on there. Now, the other part that he spoke about was not only about the jibbity jibbity jib, but on the Hunter laptop before the election of 2020. He came forward admitting that he was a mistake that he did. He should never have listened. And he allowed the particular platform that he was on to be dictated by an administration. And that should never have been. But hindsight apology does not solve the current problem. No one is saying what's going to happen because of it. Now, understand this. What he did was a blatant and direct violation of our First Amendment right, not only by him, but by the Biden administration. The government should not have a hand in understanding what the platform is doing for people. It should let it run because they are covered by a certain code given to them by the government. Now, if you're going to apply that, you have to leave them to do what they're doing. But in doing what the Biden administration has done, they have moved themselves out of the realm of the code that they gave them and into the realm of actually being Facebook themselves, which we all know isn't legal. But hey, who's going to arrest them? Nobody. Nothing's going to happen. We hear about this all the time. Yeah, we knew this was wrong and we're sorry we let it happen. What now? We're sorry. Yeah, but what kind of ramifications are going to happen? You get to tell us we were wrong. <laughs> that, that's the most that's going to happen. Now, if you think that Zuckerberg's the only one, no. Google's been involved in this too. Zuckerberg just happened to be the one to write a letter admitting it. When in human events, normal human interaction, you or I can write a letter to a government entity telling them that you blatantly broke the law at the behest of the government and nothing happens to you. That has never happened. You'll be in jail like that. In fact, the instant you type that last full stop, open up FBI. That's what you'll hear at your door. For Zuckerberg, it's, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I should have never done it. My bad. My apologies. You forgive me now? In other news, we have Meta now. Like, come on, come on, people. Okay, look, I understand that there are going to be a whole bunch of conspiracy theorists come up about this. But this is no longer conspiracy. This is factual. It's been admitted. What's going to happen? Furthermore, what are you going to do? They know nothing. And since they know you ain't going to do nothing, they can admit to everything under the sun. You want proof? Okay. Recently through Google, it was admitted by them that Kamala Harris was indeed censoring certain bits of information when you did a search. Whoopsies, the Harris campaign was caught red-handed editing news headlines and descriptions within Google search ads to make it look like CNN, CBS, Reuters, The Guardian, and other major news organizations are on her side. Things either about her history, her campaign, or what she wanted to do, or even started to scrub videos about her way back in the day. Now, this was admitted to. They won't call it what it is. We know what it was. We can't say it. Because then this will also fall into the same hole of you ain't going to get that out there. You know what kind of interference it is. You don't need me to say it. It starts with an E. But that will never be called that. What it would be called is protecting the public. It would be deeming certain information non-pertinent. It would be called making sure we catch misinformation. Mind you, the people calling it misinformation are the ones that are putting out the information. Consider it like this. I tell somebody to investigate me. And I tell the people, this person is investigating me. 
the public uh, uh, forum is done. I make a phone call to the investigator. Okay, so let me talk to you real quick. So you got your pen? Perfect. So what you're going to write about me is this is little, 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 little. You got that? Perfect. Good. And tell you what, make sure you drop this in two days and tell them it took you two days to investigate. Perfect. You got it? Good. Hang on. Click. Two days later, the investigator comes forward. This is our findings. That's what this is. It's manipulation by absentia. I don't have to tell you anything. You can speculate, and they're not going to stop you from speculating, mind you. There is no, no blockade on you being a conspiracy theorist. That, in fact, that's fine, because then they can brand you crazy. The problem is that when certain people wake up and they start telling you the truth, they also know they're not going to be punished. Because by then, when they do come forward with it, it's too late. The damage is already done. What are you going to put them in prison for? Hindsight? It's not enough. And is it illegal? No. Why? This is the premise they have. The government told me to. Who's going to arrest the government? The government? <laughs> They're scot-free. They're investigating the uh, fox and hen house. The fox going to check what, what happened to the eggs. <laughs> I, I don't know what happened to, as he's taking more eggs. Man, these, whatever it is has taken a lot of eggs, hasn't it? Man, wow. I tell you what, I'll look into this and I'll let you know what I find. Walking out with all the eggs. And the chicks are like, but those are, no, I have to have these for forensic checks. I make to make sure that the other eggs that are missing matches this. That's what we're in right now. They won't let you because they know exactly what amount of information they're allowing you to get out with. They know it. They know it. Now, what does that say about actual information? How do you go about getting it? But more so, what do you do when you get it? You can put it out there, but if... Zuckerberg is right, and the administration still comes to him and say, you better or else. What do they have over Zuckerberg's head? We won't let you have access to the kind of protections you normally have with the government. And once we take those protections away, you're ruined. You're done. In fact, you know that we have contracts with you, don't we, Mr. Zuckerberg? We have contracts with you as a, through our military. You want those gone? I don't think so. Do you realize how much billions of dollars you lose, Mr. Zuckerberg, if you decide to you know, go rogue. I hear you. I hear you, Mr. Administration. We're going to censor it. All that bluster and saying, I apologize, and this is what happened, does nothing. Let me ask you a question. Do you still get censored on Facebook? Okay. Do you get censored about things about the current administration? Yes? I rest my case. The letter did nothing. More so, the people that he wrote the letter to won't do anything either. We're supposed to be depending on at least one of the two teams to do something. For us, the conservative, we bank on Republicans doing their job. We talk about it all the time. Jim Jordan's such a great man. No! You got this letter from Zuckerberg and you ain't doing jack. You hold meetings all the time. You have all these hearings and talk about it. You let everybody know that you know stuff and nobody's head rolls. Nothing happens. They're just as bad. They're just as culpable. They may not be getting money out of it, but they're not even doing their jobs. You get told that there is a blatant violation of your consumer rights. You get told blatantly that the Constitution was violated. You get told blatantly that the government itself that you're supposed to be working for on behalf of the people is destroying the very livelihood of the people. And all you do is say, well, we brought you on here in the hearing to talk to you about what you said you did. Did you do it? Yes. All right. Y'all have a good day. Video racks up a billion views. Everybody knows they did it. Okay, what now? Have a good day. That's all we get anymore. Zuckerberg knows that, which is why he can admit it. What's going to happen to him? Nothing. And it's just going to be one big snowball that keeps piling up, and the only person that's going to get smacked with it is you and I. You, I, I'm betting you money right now. There are some of you that cannot put any information out about what happened in 2020. And I do not mean the election. I am talking about all that had to do with you being told to stay home. You, I bet you right now you can't put that stuff on Facebook. Heck, I bet you can't even make a proper video on YouTube to say about it. Because what he admitted to is still going on. And there is no stopping it in sight. That is, unless another person gets in there. And even then, are we assured that he's going to do something too? As much as I want to trust that he will, 
The unfortunate thing is he's not the one behind it. However, he could, just like the Biden administration, send his minions out to plead and demand. But you know what's going to happen then? He'll be the bad guy. <laughs> That's the one person that can't do it. And then all of a sudden, the government's trying to convince people. Blah, 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 blah. It's happening right now, though. Where are your complaints? None? Okay. The same engine that's protecting Kamala Harris. It's the same engine that protected Joe Biden. It's the same engine that will protect their what? Interests. And their interest is all around the green. And trust and believe, Facebook has a lot of green to go around because the circulation is coming from the very entity that's giving it the power to censor you. Heck, this might be the test pilot for it because this video might not get anywhere. There, there might be only like 500 of you to see this one. And I guarantee even if you do share it, <laughs> it won't get shared. You'll send it to somebody else and they'll put it on there and say, eh, blanked, why? Misinformation. You appeal, nope, or your a whole account now is misinformation, goodbye. But they also know you can't do much about it. Move to another platform, perhaps, with less traction, less people on it. They have you cornered. The only way I can see us combating this is just having the knowledge and doing what is necessary to vote appropriately. That's why you need to be informed. Information is your biggest weapon right now, not anger, not rage, not even outrage, you have to use your intellect about this. And the more you know, the better you can operate within the confines that they've set for you. And if you're rebellious enough intellectually, you leave them without a leg to stand on.